Welcome. With S4 HANA, you can use the advanced returns management component in combination with warehouse processes and extended warehouse management to manage returns items efficiently and securely. Let us look at the benefits of doing so. You can connect advanced returns management processes with warehouse operations. You can improve the transparency of the returns process across business areas and system components. And finally, you can align the usage decisions in quality inspection with follow-up activities in the warehouse. We will now look closer at the collaboration between ARM and EWM. Depending on the actual scenario, a return process in ARM is initiated through a return order, a customer return order, or a return stock transport order. The return order generates, in turn, an inbound delivery document. The inbound delivery is reflected in EWM as an inbound delivery request and enables us to receive the return goods. After receiving the goods in the warehouse, an inspection document is created. The inspection document requires us to perform a goods inspection with subsequent inspection decision and follow-up action decision. When the decisions are made, we will perform relevant follow-up activities in the warehouse. The progress can be overlooked from the return overview in ARM and the warehouse monitor in EWM. Through a practical example, we will see how ARM and EWM interact we will create a customer return order for two different products. According to the customer, they are both defective. Upon receipt, we will perform an inspection. One product will be deemed broken and moved to scrap. The other product will be considered to be okay and moved back to free available stock. We create advanced returns orders using the Create Sales Order app with the appropriate order type. We enter the first material number and the return quantity, before entering the return reason, the follow-up action, return into plant. We also indicate the return control to be used in the refund code. We don't use the form for the second item. Instead, we enter everything in the line at the bottom of the screen, the material number and the return quantity, before entering the same return reason, the same follow-up action, return into plan. At the end, we indicate the return control to be used in the refund code. Upon completion, we press save and note the advanced returns order number. In the Track Customer Returns app, we can instantly see the current status of the newly created return order. We see the two return items. For each return item, we can see anticipated return steps. On top of the list, we have the return order. On the third line, we can see the system generated returns delivery. We search for the automatically created returns delivery in the Change Inbound Deliveries app. In the Detail view, we can see the two return items. They are packed into different handling units. We note down number 804961 for the first one. The second handling unit, for the second return item, has a handling unit with the number 804962. To save some time, since the return items have already arrived, we mark the two return item lines and perform a direct goods receipt in the Change Inbound Deliveries app. With goods receipt done, we open the warehouse monitor in Extended Warehouse Management. We search for the inbound delivery under Inbound, Documents. We look at the two warehouse tasks that were confirmed during the receipt of the goods. We can see that the return items are placed in the goods receipt return zone. We also recognize the two HU numbers from the previous step. In the warehouse monitor, we can also look at the received items under stock and bin, then storage bin. We limit the selection to the storage type for returned uninspected goods. The physical stock view shows us that the returned goods are stock type B6, blocked stock. We can also see that the goods are classified as sales order stock. Finally, we can see that both line items have an inspection document attached to them. Going back to the Track Customer Return app, we see that the inspection documents shown in the warehouse monitor have been added to the return steps in the returns overview. Again, this applies to both return items, they are equipped with an individual quality inspection document. We use the Enter Inspection Results app during the inspection of the return goods. 
We begin by searching for our returns delivery document. First, we inspect the first return item. Then, we enter the inspection code and conclude that the first item is, in fact, broken. Next, we add the logistical follow-up code, transfer to scrap, in order to ensure the proper follow-up activities in the warehouse. The second item is then inspected. Despite that the customer has returned it as defective, our inspection finds it okay. We enter the appropriate inspection code and also add the logistical follow-up code, transfer to free available stock. We end the inspection by saving and confirming it. The returns overview is always up to date. We see that the system, for the first item, has added a return step, transfer to scrap. For the second return item, the one that was found to be okay, a step for transfer to free available stock has been added. A quick look in the warehouse monitor shows us that after inspection, the returned items are no longer considered as sales order stock. It has been freed. Looking at the returned item from another angle in the warehouse monitor shows us that two warehouse tasks have been prepared for the logistical follow-up activities. One item will be moved to the scrapping area, the other item will be moved to free stock. We note the two warehouse order numbers since we will use them when we do the physical movement in a few seconds. To do the physical movement, we use the RF processing app. Since we already know the warehouse order numbers, we select them manually. We confirm the source bin for the first item, the handling unit, the product number and the quantity before confirming put away in the scrapping area. We repeat the process for the second item and second warehouse order. Again, we confirm the source bin for the item, the handling unit, the product number and the quantity before confirming put away and return to the free stock area. The returns overview shows that the physical moves to the scrapping area and free stock area for item 1 and item 2 have been completed. A quick and final look in the warehouse monitor shows us that the two return items have been assigned the correct stock types, F2, unrestricted use warehouse and S6, scrapping from warehouse. Let us recap the benefits of using the advanced returns management component with warehouse processes in extended warehouse management. You can connect advanced returns management processes with warehouse operations. You can improve the transparency of the returns process across business areas and system components. And finally, you can align the usage decisions in quality inspection with follow-up activities in the warehouse. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.